every WordPress installation needs a MySQL database, and setting it up is usually pretty easy. Log into your web hosting control panel. This is a Bluehost.com control panel, but yours might look quite similar, or maybe not. Either way, log in and hunt around for something that says databases or MySQL. If you have a spot that says MySQL database wizard, great, click that. Now we're going to create a MySQL database. But as I show you this, remember, what we're trying to do is create a database for your WordPress blog. And we need to get three pieces of information. The WordPress database name, the WordPress database user, and the WordPress database password. And so it might be handy to have a pen and paper to jot these things down as you create them. You're going to use those three bits of information after the database is created to connect your WordPress files to the database you created. So, here in the first step, I'm going to create a new database, and I'm going to pick a name for it. I'm going to call it Database. Now, stop right here for a second, because you'll notice that I called the database Database, but now it's telling me added the database NetRivet underscore database. And this is something that a lot of web hosts do. Not all of them, but keep your eyes peeled for it. A lot of times, they'll add a prefix to your database name, and so if they do that, you're going to need this full NetRivet underscore database when you edit your configuration file later. So you can write down your database name and write down the entire thing, not just what you typed in. Other web hosts will just allow you to name it whatever you want, but I've found maybe 70% of them do this sort of trick of prefixing it with the name. Next, we're going to add a username. I'll write Jared and a password. Now, stop again. You're going to see that it's telling me that it added the user netrivet underscore Jared. In this case, it did the same thing again. It prefixed the user that I created with my, basically it's like my account name. So, if you're writing down your username, make sure that if it prefixes it with something that you write down the entire thing. Again, not all web hosts do this, but a lot do. And then, there's my password. So now I've already got all three pieces of information I told you that we need. Remember, it's the database name, the username, and the password. Before we're done, we need to make sure that the user, which is netrivet underscore Jared, gets added with all privileges. So click for all privileges and hit next step. And then you're done. If you don't have a MySQL database wizard like the one I just showed you, then creating your MySQL database may look more like this. Right now I'm going to click on the MySQL databases section. Then, I create a new database by giving it a name. As you can see, it added the prefix, so make sure you write down the prefix and the name you created. Once the database is created, we have to add a MySQL user. So I'm going to make it Jared, my password 1234, and I'm going to click Create User. Now, it's telling me it added the user Jared, but I think this is actually a mistake in the control panel. I think the username is actually netrivet underscore Jared. If you're having any trouble when you're connecting your files to your database using the wp-config file, then just try both variations and you should be fine. Once I've got my database and my user, all I have to do is add the user to the database. And here you can see that there is my username, and as I told you, I was right, it did prefix it with my account name. So we're just going to get the user and the database and add that user to this database, giving him all privileges. And we're ready. We just need to bring over the username, the database name, and the password. And we're going to use that in a later step when we edit our config file. If your MySQL setup and your web hosting control panel doesn't look anything like this and you can't figure it out, don't sweat it. All you have to do is call up your web hosting tech support, act dumb and happy, and ask them to help you set up a MySQL database. Make sure you get the database name, the database user, the database password. They should be able to walk you through that no problem. It's a very simple routine task.